I'm going to ask you to gaze upon this SDO version of our sun. And you tell me if you see any solar activity. See anything? Go ahead, take your time. Maybe you notice the filaments lifting off this giant. I have no idea what is going on here. I mean, look at this whole area. That is just, it's wild. It's out of control. And I've never seen the sun like that before. I don't think I've ever seen this much activity before. Something is popping off in all places at all times. In the spirit of uh, Halloween, I would say, hey, dude, it looks like the sun is unraveling. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, sun's pretty trippy. I don't even have to fear monger this thing up for Halloween. Like, if mindful wise eyes know what they're looking at, this dragon egg looks like it could hatch any minute now. But don't worry. Professional science guarantees you our sun has enough fuel to last 5 billion years. And thank you for that awesome guarantee science. All right. Stay cool. Baby, I need your love. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents Halloween Mammoth Near Earth Potentially Hazardous Asteroid Totally Bad 145 Wasn't Enough. You've got a once in a 10 year meteor shower that they're calling Halloween Fireballs that might be raining down this weekend. And if that wasn't enough, we've got WT1190F, a piece of space junk, asterisk question mark, that is scheduled to strike on November 13th near Sri Lanka into the ocean. Like, if that stuff wasn't enough to spice up your week, now, to top it all off, we have the granddaddy of them all, the center of the solar system. Literally, the thing the Earth revolves around. I'm talking about the sun, La Sol. I've never seen her like this before in all my years of camera watching geekery. When I first saw this, I burst out in a, oh my god, and then I thought it was just one frame, you know, at the peak of the explosion. But oh no. It lasted for at least two hours. We didn't get many frames before, and we didn't really get many frames after. So there's no telling how long it really lasted. And so I'm officially saying this is the scariest thing I've seen on a non-personal level leading up to Halloween. Would you like to be scared for Halloween? Then you have come to the right place. If the giant spew of dark matter doesn't get you. The massive, never seen before, solar jet ranks will. What am I talking about? I don't really know. Give me a second. I'll figure it out. Maybe if you were taking a look, Gilly Gander, you figured it out yourself. Okay, so not only is the sun freaking out, this UV ahead camera is super duper freaking out. Now, our resident amateur astronomers will say, oh yeah, it's just a pixel artifact, discriminatory, verbenated, psychotropic swamp gas effect that normally happens in October in years that end in fives. But we know sometimes to take those grains of salt with a kick in the nuts. Uh, the sun's acting weird, I'm acting weird. Apologize. And it was Halloween like two hours ago. And I don't even know. It's like daylight savings time. I'm like, WTF is that shit? It's all about worker bees and pennies. Yay, I'm not making any sense. You got filaments just stone cold releasing. And whatever's going on here is just pure solar madness. It's a big plasma party. And then you got solar flares popping off here. Solar flares popping off here. Solar flares popping off here. Man... The big party's happening on the sun. And we are all invited. That is what Thor News is all about. So expect weather to get weird, people to get weird, and everything in general to just get weirder. Because at Thor News, I like to believe that the sun does affect people's moods and attitudes. As we can see here, on the 24th, the sun is wielding a giant sword. And this is our dark matter area. Keep your eye on that as well. And remember, keep in mind, science, scientists, solar physicians, a lot of them have been saying, solar activity is really low. And I've been saying, hold up, buddy. I don't think you know what the hell you're talking about. Because, like, your solar maximum solar science is grossly oversimplified. You know, the sun's been acting strange. People have been acting strange. Weather's been acting strange. Strange days indeed. That's why we got to just do our best to enjoy life right now in the moment. But you never know how long it's going to last. What are we going to call those? New sun sprouts? We gotta have a scientific name for this stuff. Giant sun jets. That's what those are. Those are giant sun jets, because the sun is in a hurry. It is trying to get somewhere before it closes. I know, do you ever get the feeling that they got light speed distance all wrong? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, great. So these videos may not be as high quality as usual, but I'm just trying to make do. Because there's a lot of news out there. I just thought I'd talk to you about it. So there you go. The news. I talked to you about it. The sun is freaking out. 
and we come up with new names for those things. Solar pillars. How about that? No. I still like solar jet rinks. Solar jet rinks. There we have it. We have a winner. So I just thought I would point out the sun and say, hey, look, WTF. That's crazy. And that's why we like to stay cool, man.